now let's go for the deletion so i want to delete these two data i mean two posts from here okay so uh, i'm going to actually delete this so let's go all post and here you can see we have a button here delete button and in the reference i'm going to say it will go at the route and let's say the route will be admin dot delete so this is the route i'm going to actually give here single quotation and then i'm going to actually i'm going to actually pass the id with it so i'm going to say post id because i need to actually delete the specific id right okay so now let's go and create admin dot delete i'll say delete post let's say so delete post i'm going to say admin dot delete post so let's go here in the route i'm going to create a route admin dot delete post and it will be a uh, get route all right so let's go here and i'm going to cut it from here i'm going to paste it here and here it will be let's say delete post and we have passed an id through it right in the url so we have to receive it and then in the admin controller we have a delete let's say delete post a function okay so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go to the admin controller and here i'm going to make a function and that will be public function delete post we know we'll get an id so I'll, uh, i'm going to say here dollar id and here i'm going to say dollar uh yeah dollar post is equal to we'll say post colon colon find or fail and we'll pass here the id and if the id is available here then we'll say okay dollar post delete method that's it and we'll say return i'm going to actually copy from here i'm going to go here and then i'm going to say status deleted successfully okay deleted d e l e t e d deleted successfully that's it let's go refresh error property id not exist on the collection of instance okay so it will be posts okay because here we have pass post okay so i'm going to go here and let's go back so now let's say i want to delete this one so i'm going to click here delete and here you can see deleted successfully now let's say you don't want to delete this one but accidentally you have click here then the data will be i mean post will be deleted right so actually we don't want to do this what i want to do is we will actually go to the admin controller and here in this function we will actually force him to uh, apply the id once again okay post id or post title okay and from here actually i don't want to delete it so i'm going to actually return a view from here okay so i will say return view and i'm going to remove it so dollar uh, sorry it will go here uh, so i'm going to actually create admin uh, i mean a view in the admin folder so i'm going to say post delete dot plate dot php you can actually use here uh, javascript but i will show you using laravel so we'll actually go here uh, in the post delete i'll say admin right admin dot post delete all right and we'll actually compact the id compact the id so i'm going to say post i mean sorry compact the post we'll go for the update actually i'm going to copy everything from here and i'm going to paste it here but um, i'll actually say here that only the button and delete delete post and there should be this folder that enter hmm, post id here okay and now we'll say 
ID. Okay, and then it will actually go where we will actually create a route for this. Don't worry. But at first here, I'm going to uh, show the post a specific post. Okay, so here um, in the div, actually, I'm going to uh, show here the specific post. And so I, I want to actually show post ID. Post ID is equal to uh, this post ID. Okay, so I'll say here that h1 post id is okay this one and then uh, admin will actually copy this post id and then we'll actually enter this okay so it will now go uh, in a route so we'll actually say here the route name will be post delete d e l e t delete and we'll actually pass the post id with it and then we don't need this encrypted multi-part data because here we haven't actually any file right so we don't need to do this and now it will be post method so now it will go here admin dot post delete so i'm going to go in the route and here i'm going to create a post route so let's go create a route copy it paste it and just change it to post and here i'm going to say uh, delete post with the id admin controller and i will say post delete post d e l e t post delete and the name should be admin post delete and here i'm going to say post delete and i'm going to create a function for this so let's go admin controller and here i will say public function post delete and we will actually uh, get here two parameter one is request so request dollar request comma dollar id dollar id right okay and here we'll say copy it paste it and i'll say just dollar post delete method and i'll actually return it admin all post and i will say deleted b e l e t e d deleted successfully and it will go here admin all post right okay done with the danger and here i'm going in the in the uh, all post right i'm going to actually go at the top and here i'm going to copy it and paste it here one more time because now our uh, session name is danger so D A N G E R danger actually so i can actually say here read right uh yeah and uh, if i delete this one it will actually delete this actually i don't want to delete it so i'm going to add post let's say add post okay so here uh see image is also malleable so don't worry we will actually apply here one more thing and that is resources fuse admin at post here it will go to the admin controller right okay so let's go admin controller and in the add post we'll apply the same process and that is if okay so i'm going to copy this if process here and Here I'm going to say this process, okay? Copy it, paste it here. All right, now it will work. Let's go back. Now let's say I want to refresh it. Post title at post, it will work okay added successfully here you can see and uh, actually i want to delete this so delete now i'll press 9 so delete post it should show me deleted successfully so done right now if i click accidentally in the delete button it will not be deleted here you can see hello everyone a little update and that is here you can see uh, we have actually created here post delete right so the problem is here you can see i haven't actually checked that the 
request field and our id is same i mean it uh, it should be same right okay so what i have to do is uh, i have to actually check here the uh, request field right okay and one more thing is we have to actually uh let's go to the resources and then views and then uh, admin then delete post right post delete so here you can see that uh, here we should actually say required i mean you have to actually give it right required okay otherwise we will not uh, you know i mean you cannot actually submit it so you have to give the value okay so it can be any value right so we should uh, actually give here i mean we should check here that the input field value and the uh, the post id is same or not so this is the logical thing right yeah yeah it's work perfectly but we should work in a logical way so i mean it should work in a logical way right so what i have to do we will actually check the uh, dollar request i will say if dollar request then uh, we are getting the id from where the admin post delete right so the field name is id here you can see so i will say request id is equal to dollar post id to copy it and cut it from here and let's paste it here done now it uh, it's look more logical uh but let's say the post id is not uh, you know same as this so i will say else and here i will actually return here you can see admin all post okay so i'm going to copy it from here and paste it here that's it i don't actually want to give here any uh, i mean anything now let's go for the delete here you can see the post id is 13 if i say 14 if i click here delete post it should uh, not be deleted right here you can see still available so now let's say i want to go for the delete and here i will say 13 now if i click on delete it should delete it here you can see deleted successfully here you can see there is no data so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching